नमस्कार आई एम अखिल श्रीवास्तव एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट टुडे दैट इज ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ मे वी विल सी हाउ वॉज द वेदर ऑब्जर्व डूरिंग पास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंड वॉट वी एक्सपेक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेदर इन द कमिंग नेक्स्ट वन वीक इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ऑब्जर्वेशन डूरिंग पास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंडिंग एट एट थर्टी आवर्स आई एस टी ऑफ टुडे फिफ्थ ऑफ मे थंडर स्टॉम एकम्पनीड विद स्कॉली गस्टी विंड्स विद इन स्पीड बिटवीन सेवेंटी टू हंड्रेड एंड लेवन किलोमीटर पर आवर बस वर्स ऑब्जर्व ओवर कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश वेस्ट मध्य प्रदेश वेस्ट राजस्थान ईस्ट उत्तर प्रदेश एंड उत्तराखंड इंदौर रिपोर्टेड 111 किलोमीटर पर आवर विंड स्पीड स्टडे थंडर स्टॉम एक कंपनी विद स्कॉली गस्टी विंड विद विंड स्पीड विन फोर्टी सेवेंटी किलोमीटर पर आवर वॉ सीन आइस प्लेस ओवर नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया जम्मू रीजन हिमाचल प्रदेश पंजाब हरियाणा चंडीगढ़ विदर्भ छत्तीसगढ़ बिहार झारखंड गुजरात रीजन तमिलनाडु पुदुचेरी केरला एंड माहे रायलसीमा एंड तेलंगाना Hail storm was also reported yesterday over Tamil Nadu, Telangana, coastal Andhra Pradesh, Rayal Seema, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Punjab, eastern parts of Uttar Pradesh, East Madhya Pradesh, with urban Gujarat region. Also heavy rainfall was reported over Tamil Nadu, Kerala, coastal Andhra Pradesh, Rayal Seema, Himachal Pradesh, and West Madhya Pradesh. If you talk about the main weather features which are impacting India today, then there is a western disturbance uh, which is seen as a cyclone circulation over central parts of Pakistan and adjoining Punjab and North West Rajasthan. Also, there is a cyclone circulation over North East Rajasthan and neighborhood, and there is a cyclone circulation over South Pakistan and adjoining South West Rajasthan in lower atmospheric levels. There is also an East West trough which runs, runs from East Rajasthan to North Bangladesh across Madhya Pradesh, South East Uttar Pradesh, and Jharkhand in lower atmospheric levels. There is also a North uh, North South trough which runs from South East Madhya Pradesh to South Central Karnataka across Maratwada, Telangana, and North Central Karnataka at lower atmospheric levels. And a cyclone circulation is seen over southern parts of Tamil Nadu and neighborhood at lower atmospheric levels. In addition to that, there is also cyclone circulation at uh, lower atmospheric level over North East Assam and neighborhood. If we talk about the main highlights, what we expect in terms of weather during uh, next one week, then we are expecting uh, rainfall accompanied with thunderstorm, lightning, hailstorm, squally and gusty winds to continue over northwestern parts of the country during next seven days. Also, this weather is likely similar weather is likely over central India till seventh and uh, likely decrease in intensity thereafter. Heavy rainfall accompanied with thunderstorm, lightning, and squally gusty winds is also likely over Gujarat state and south west Rajasthan during 5th to 8th of May and over Uttarakhand during 6th and 7th of May 2025. Heavy rainfall accompanied with thunderstorm and lightning is likely over northeast India during 6th to 8th of May 2025. If we talk about temperature, then uh, the maximum temperature uh, in general are in the range of 38 to 44 uh, degree centigrade over central and western parts of the country. Yesterday, the highest maximum temperature reported was 44.3 degree centigrade at Akola in Vidarbha uh, region. If you talk about the, the departures with respect to normal, then the maximum temperatures are uh, in general uh, you know below normal over northwest parts of the country, eastern parts of the country, and near normal over southern parts of the country. The temperatures are above normal uh, over northwestern parts of the country. So there are no heat wave conditions likely during next one week. As temperatures are uh, on the lower side, and also the thunderstorm activity is expected uh, over uh, northwest and central India during next one week. If we talk about the forecast of temperatures, then no significant change in maximum temperatures likely over northwest India and central India during next four days, and rise by uh, two to three degrees centigrade thereafter for subsequent three days. No significant change in maximum temperatures likely over east India during next 48 hours, and rise by three to five degrees centigrade thereafter for subsequent four days. Gradual fall in maximum temperatures likely over west India by three to five degrees centigrade during next four to five days because we are expecting a good rainfall activity over southwest parts of the Rajasthan and over Gujarat state. No significant change in maximum temperatures likely over rest parts of the country. If we talk about the weather warning which are being issued for today so today uh, thunderstorm uh, uh, with gusty winds lightning uh, warning that is orange color warning has been issued for almost entire northwest parts of the country which includes uh, jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand punjab haryana rajasthan state uttar pradesh madhya pradesh gujarat chatisgarh vidarbha telangana coastal andhra pradesh and rail seema In addition to that, today uh, thunderstorm activity and light thunderstorm activity with gusty wind and lightning. Yellow warning has been issued for eastern parts of the country, that is Gangetic West Bengal, Jharkhand, Odisha, uh, some parts of West Bengal, and also in northeastern parts of the country, that is uh, Assam and Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, and Tripura. In southern parts of the country, in Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and in South India, Karnataka, thunderstorm activity is expected. Heavy rainfall warning has been issued for Tamil Nadu. Uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh, Gujarat, and also for Kerala for today. That is for 5th of May. If we talk about day two, that is for 6th of May, then again the thunderstorm activity as we are expecting to continue over northwest parts of the country. Orange warning has been issued over Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, and Gujarat region. 
and Gujarat state. Also in coastal Andhra Pradesh, uh, orange yellow warning has been issued for 6th of May. In addition to that, uh, Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, entire east and northeast India, uh, yellow warning has been issued for thunderstorm gusty winds. And also in southern parts of the country, Tamil Nadu, uh, Kerala, uh, South India Karnataka, in uh, Marathwada uh, and in uh, Madhya Maharashtra, Vidarbha, all this region thunderstorm activity is likely on 6th of May also and uh, yellow warning has been issued including Konkan and Goa. In Lakshadweep also thunderstorm lightning uh, warning has been issued for 6th of May. If we talk about day 3 to 7th of May, again the uh, orange warning has issued for Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, Gujarat state, eastern parts of Madhya Pradesh and in coastal Andhra Pradesh. The uh, yellow warning has issued for Punjab, Haryana, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Vidarbha, Madhya Maharashtra, Marathwada, Konkan and Goa, Telangana, Rail Seema, South India Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. North Eastern parts of the country are also expected to receive thunderstorm activity with gusty winds of 30 to 40 km per hour. In addition to that, uh, isolated heavy rainfall is also predicted over Arunachal Pradesh and Assam and Meghalaya. Heavy rainfall is also indicated over Gujarat state and over uh, Rajasthan on 7th of May. If you talk about 8th of May, that is day 4 from now, uh, heavy rainfall warning has been issued for Gujarat state and uh, for that orange warning has been also issued uh, and orange warning is issued for uh, Himachal Pradesh, eastern parts of Rajasthan where thunderstorm, lightning and gusty wind is likely with the wind speed uh, reaching to 50 to 60 km per hour. Thunderstorm activity with the wind speed from 30, uh, 40 to 50 km per hour is likely over Punjab, Haryana, Uttarakhand, uh, western parts of uh, Uttar Pradesh, West Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, uh, Vidarbha uh, and uh, Madhya Maharashtra, Marathi. Atwada, Konkan and Goa, coastal Andhra Pradesh and uh, almost in uh, isolated places of uh, Rail Seema, South India Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. We are also expecting hot and humid weather conditions to uh, develop over uh, Gangetic West Bengal and Odisha from day 4 and from 8th of uh, May onwards. North eastern parts of the country are likely to receive thunderstorm activity with isolated heavy rainfall over uh, Arunachal Pradesh and Assam and Meghalaya. If we talk about day 9 then isolated pockets, uh, so isolated places of North West India which includes Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Punjab, Haryana, West Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan and also Central India, Madhya Pradesh and Western parts of the country, Gujarat uh, and uh, uh, Vidarbha, Madhya Maharashtra, Marathwada, Telangana, Coastal Andhra Pradesh, South India Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Kerala are likely to receive thunderstorm activity with gusty winds 30 to 40 km per hour and 2 gusting to 50 km per hour. Hot and humid conditions are likely to continue over uh, Odisha and uh, uh, Gangetic West Bengal during the next 3 days that is from 8th to uh, 8th, 9th, 10th and 11th of May 2025. Thunderstorm activity is also likely over northeastern parts of the country during uh, the uh, day 6 and day 7 as well. If you talk about uh, the uh, northwest parts of the country on uh, day 6, day 7, that is on 10th of April, then isolated thunderstorm activity with gusty winds 30 to 40 km per hour is likely over Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Rajasthan, Haryana and western parts of the Uttar Pradesh. Also hot and humid weather is likely to continue over Odisha and Gagri West Bengal on 10th and 11th of May 2025. So these are the main uh, weather warnings during the next 7 days. For any updated information, please visit IMD website and the social media handles. We will meet again tomorrow with similar kind of information. Till then, have a good time. Namaskar. Jai Hind.